Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, December 26th. It is the day, five years to the day of the tornado that hit about two blocks from our house, decimated like five or six neighborhoods. So yeah, that was the Saturday, December 26, 2015. So it's weird to look back on those pictures and know that like the final house, the final lot that was flattened by that tornado has, finally has a house on it. They just started building it. So it is day two after the fast and I mentioned in yesterday's video that I may go, you know, do these videos all the way to Friday, but then I thought I think I'm gonna start fasting again on Monday. <laughs> I know you guys think I'm crazy. But I always intended, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I always intended to do a fast, then a refeed, then a fast, then a refeed. This fast just happened to be longer than the rest of them. So I haven't decided for sure if I'm gonna do it that way, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna be fasting Monday through Monday through Wednesday and then eat Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and start fasting again on Monday or Sunday night. I think, I haven't decided. <laughs> That's not set in stone. I did weigh this morning, I'm up three pounds because I had food yesterday, it's water weight, we all know that, um, which I'm not, I'm not stressing about. My numbers are still high, I think it was one, Oh, I'm on my phone. <laughs> I think it was 172 this morning, and then I took a shower. So I've been, it's 1015, I've been up probably an hour and 15 minutes or so, I woke up at nine. Um, I, I've noticed that when I do any kind of physical exertion that my numbers go up, which I guess kind of makes sense. So, but it was 172, and like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I'm still pretty irked about this Humira, but it is what it is. I mean, I can't control it. I can be pissed about it, but that doesn't make anything any different. So that's another reason why I wanna go ahead and try fasting again starting Monday is to see if I can get it back down, because that'll be one week since the dosage. And if it doesn't, then I then I really have a case for my rheumatologist and be like, look at, listen, I can't have high blood sugars for two weeks in a row because of a medication. And I take, I mean, I take it every two weeks. So yeah, that. Um, as far as the plan for today, I think I mentioned eggs. Someone messaged me on Instagram. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Um, but there's an article from Dr. Fung on the Diet Doctor and like on his fasting website about how eggs are hard to digest. I didn't have any issues with them yesterday um, at all, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them again today. That doesn't mean I won't have an issue today, but I'm gonna go ahead and try them again today, mostly because they sound good. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll eat some eggs. Um, yeah, they sound good. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm doing my best to eat intuitively. So I've been up for a little over an hour, took a shower, um, edited today's vlog, that's rendering or posting or uploading, whatever it's doing right now. And I'm just now starting to feel a little bit of hunger. I am also gonna try some coffee, not a bulletproof coffee, just some coffee to see if my stomach can handle it. Um, <laughs> so Rob was like, I just bought a case of the, um, Christmas sugar cookie is that what it's called from Green Mountain about like 96 of them <laughs> like oh that's gonna last me two years probably maybe I'm gonna try just a little bit of stevia probably one packet of stevia and see how that tastes as far as sweetness wise um, I did, I've, I've read several different articles and seen several different videos by medical doctors who mentioned that you can have stevia when you're fasting, um, which doesn't make a hill of beans sense to me, 
but I don't have an MD after my name, so what do I know? But um, they're like, yes, you can have, you know, coffee with a little bit of cream and some stevia, because stevia is natural, but stevia still causes your body to have an insulin response, so, or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. That's weird, right? It's weird to me, it's weird to me. Okay, so yeah, other than that, Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Rob is still fasting. I haven't decided what I'm going to eat beyond <laughs> beyond breakfast. I may cook some um, ground beef. I may make some bacon. It needs to be something I can eat today and tomorrow and then be done with it. Because like I said, I think I'm going to start fasting again on Monday. But yeah. I feel good. My back hurts like a motherfucker like a motherfucker. I barely was able to get out of bed this morning. Like, because we're not and say we did. I feel like there's something I forgot to tell you. I didn't take my ketones this morning. I'm not going to take my ketones probably until Tuesday again, just because, um, I, um, I only have like two, two, one. <laughs> yes, I only have one ketone strip left. I need to check the tracking on the ones from Ke and see if they're even on their way here. I'm sure the post office is still backed up from earlier last week or this month. That's what happens when you try to suppress mail-in voters, politicians. <laughs> Good grief. Okay, that's it. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. If I eat, I'll show you guys what I'm eating, like I have been doing. And like I said, I will, um, yeah. If you guys want me to continue these daily vlogs, even while fasting, I can. You guys will have to let me know because I don't want to film stuff and you guys don't want to watch it. <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose. But yeah, so I'm going to go get Rob to put some patches on my back and some socks on my feet. And then I'm going to get my day started. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, friends, it's about 10 after 11 and I've cooked some eggs. I added a little bit of bacon in. This is a little over a tablespoon of bacon, just to see how my stomach handles it. And then I did make some coffee, and so far, so good. So this will be my first meal of the day. This is four eggs, by the way. I increased the eggs by one to see how I handled it. If my estimations are correct, I probably won't be hungry until like six or seven. This evening so we'll see but yeah so this is meal one on day two after the 15 day fast a quick update my body said no 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 to a fourth egg so <laughs> that's about an egg's worth of food I think so yeah so just three eggs today and I am now I am very very full so that's it for um right now It is a little after four and I'm feeling just a tad bit hungry. So this is what I was talking about. Charcuterie board or whatever it's called. <laughs> you get copa sausage and then sopressata. You get it in sweet or spicy. None of them have carbs. They all have dextrose though, which I just realized. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm going to eat it anyway, because I own it, and I'm going to eat it, and then we'll be done, and we'll see just how much this bumps up the blood sugar. But yeah, so I'm not going to eat this whole thing, of course. I'm just going to have one, probably half of a section. And then <laughs> this one, Roxy, thinks that this is prosciutto, so we'll see if she'll eat some. So 
so it is I need to turn on bed. It's about 9.15, maybe? 10 after 9? I don't know. I can't turn. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get in bed so I can be under the electric blanket because, as we've talked about, I'm cold. So, today has been rough when it comes to blood sugar. It's currently 197. About 10 minutes ago, it was 185, so I'm going to guess it's closer to 185, but I've noticed when I get up and move around, the blood sugar will jump, sometimes 20 points. So I don't know if that's my body, you know, sending out glucose for energy, if it's the meter, <laughs> honestly, I honestly don't know. So, but that, I think that's the highest it's been all day. It was... 193 the lowest it got today was only 157 and it's been consistently in the 170s for the most part all evening showed you guys what i ate um i did have some moon cheese earlier so that's the first time i've had dairy like dairy dairy in the last couple of days and i don't feel any i don't feel any ill effects from it it didn't drive up the blood sugar so yeah, but it's it's higher than I was hoping it would be. So that's that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> it's like I did all that fucking work and one damn medicine ruined it. Ruined it. So yeah, so I had the eggs. You guys saw that. I could only eat like three eggs. So portion control is a thing. Like I just my stomach has shrunk. And I don't want to unshrink it, so I'm gonna make sure that I keep an eye on it. And then, uh, what else did I have today? I had some of the meat that I showed you. That was actually pretty good. That didn't affect the blood sugar either, even though it has dextrose, which I hate that I didn't think to look at the ingredients. I don't know why. I just had him buy one. I didn't even think about it. That's on me. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not going to eat the Italian sausage part because I don't really care for that. And Rob broke his fast today. So he can eat that. So I put on my community tab and um, on my Instagram, um, you know, asking for questions because I was going to film kind of a wrap up Q&A kind of video. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. One question that I've gotten several times is if I'm going to fast again. And the answer to that is yes. Um, I'm not starting Monday. Initially, I thought, oh, I'll do Monday through Wednesday. <laughs> it's not going to be Monday. So, but I'll talk about that in that video, which I'll try to film maybe Monday and get it posted that day. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So tomorrow, I it's going to be a cooking day for me. So I'm making two pot roast for Rob. So I always do, we like the, or he likes, the McCormick bag in season pot roast mix. Um, I initially found that, God, when I lived in Norman the second time. So that had to have been 2001, 2002. Um, but back then I'd put my roast in a crock pot and it's delicious. It's really, really good. So I just put a, a roast and cut up a bunch of red potatoes and cook it all together for him. So I'm going to do two of those. So he'll probably get, I don't know, six or seven meals out of that. I'm going to make him the um, sausage and potato soup, which is basically just red potatoes, cooked Italian sausage, broth, a little bit of bacon, some seasoning, and then of course... Um, just a hint of pepper flakes and then I'm making my beef stew recipe which I think I shared last year I'll have to see if I did but it's a chuck roast <laughs> a bag of that or a package of that roast mix a couple of other different spices and then I'm putting carrots celery green beans and potatoes in it I will eat around the potatoes and the carrots um, I know that it'll be a little bit in the broth, but um, yeah, I may make my low-carb cornbread. I haven't decided. 
I haven't perfected that. <laughs> I haven't perfected it. And then he wants spaghetti, so I'm gonna make him spaghetti. You figure he would be over pasta because he's had so much ravioli and lasagna. Uh, so that, I think that's every, tacos. We're gonna have tacos too. So that's everything on my list. So tomorrow's gonna be a, a pretty big cooking day. Oh, and I want a cheese ball and a cheesecake. So yeah, I'm on the fence about the cheesecake, but I'm definitely making a cheese ball. And then the serious keto crackers. So that's kind of, I figure if I make a cheese ball, I can eat on it all week. And then of course, Thursday night, we're gonna have, we're gonna split a ribeye and have some scallops. So that's kind of the plan for the week. So tomorrow is definitely gonna be a pretty big cooking day. And yeah, that's it. I watched a ton of videos today with Dr. Fung on long-term fasting. And I considered buying the book, but the issue is there's so much information on intermittent fasting. There's not a whole lot of information <laughs> on long-term fasting. He did say today that you could go 200 days, you know, someone who, I don't remember what the weight was, but he said that person could go 200 days, you know, fasting. So I'm not saying I'm gonna go 200 days now. Someone introduced me to the fasting man, fasting fat man, I don't remember who you were, but dang, is he inspiring. He fasted 150 days and lost down from like 530 to 305. I'm not fasting for 150 days either, not yet. <laughs> not yet at least, oh my word. So, I, excuse me. Every time I talk to y'all, I yawn. Every gosh darn time. Mm. Okay. So I, I honestly, like, I, I'm not fasting that long. I'm not. I don't, I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't, I, don't, I just, I'm not. So the reason why I said I'm not going to start fasting on Monday is because I really want to see the blood work. I've mentioned the blood work. I want to see the blood work. Um, I want to see the blood work is basically what it boils down to. So, um, yeah. Tomorrow will be my first full day with dairy. So we'll see how that goes, if it affects my blood sugar at all. That's the, that's the, that's really the good thing about this is because I basically did an elimination diet because I didn't need anything <laughs> for 15 days. So as I add things in, you know, like I mentioned, I had a coffee and one stevia and I was good. That's all I needed as far as sweetness. And I may, Rob's going to go grocery shopping tomorrow. I may have him get me Starbucks. I really want their cold brew, but he's never ordered it before. So I may just have him get me an iced coffee or I may just skip it altogether. But yeah, so feeling a little frustrated it's, it's like, yeah, I did this huge accomplishment. I fasted for 15 days, but that's overshadowed by the fact that I, that my progress is so minimal now. And it's just, it's just so irritating. It's just so irritating because I know if I hadn't had that injection, my blood sugars would be in the low 100s or the high 90s, maybe even lower than that. So, and I saw someone's comment about how ketones in the 30s and the 40s is what's high for diabetics. I'm gonna look into that more. Um, as you guys know, guys know, I'm a little gun shy because I had DKA. So I've just been, kind of watching that. But at the same time, your blood sugars have to be high at the same time, for the most part, unless it's medically induced, like mine was with the first ego. So yeah, tomorrow will be the last after the fast video, because basically I'm gonna be back to eating normally. And then, like I said, hopefully on Monday, I will film the wrap up video and kind of give you guys, you know, the numbers and all that, all that good stuff. My Keto Mojo Ketone Meter, Ketone Strips came today. I was like, what? 
So I probably won't test my ketones again until I'll start fasting again. It just, I mean, once you've got them that high, unless I just eat something that throws me completely out of it, hopefully I don't. Um, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that today was the fifth anniversary of the tornado that was like two blocks from our house. It's been a weird day, y'all. It's just been weird. It's been so weird. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying not to be frustrated. <laughs> I'm trying not to be so frustrated. Rob broke his fast bless his heart. He worked out this morning. He got on the treadmill this morning. And when he got off, he was so weak. And I was like, did you have your electrolyte drink? And he's like, no. And I was like, <laughs> So I told him, I was like, he's like, but you did it. And you did it so well. I was like, but I was already eating. Number one, I was already eating low carb. Like I was basically eating carnivore, which is zero carb. And then I was already eating one meal a day. So jumping from one meal a day into fasting wasn't really that big of a jump. So if you're thinking about fasting and you're worried you're not going to be, you know, successful, start coming down from your meals. If you're eating three meals a day, drop to two one week and the next week drop to one and then you can start with your fasting. That's probably my biggest tip. But yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. My next fast, I will also document every day, I think. Unless you guys don't care to watch it. <laughs> as long as some of you are watching, I will keep, I will keep, keep at it. So yeah. If you're not following me on Instagram, head on over there. It's linked in the description box down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you think that you're subscribed, double check that you're subscribed because YouTube is doing the thing and they refuse to fix it. Even though they have hundreds of thousands <laughs> of creators saying, this is broken, can you fix it? They're got like an ostrich with their head in the sand. They're like, nothing's wrong, everything's fine. What are you talking about? This is good, what are you talking about? This is all good. So anyway, but I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow for the last after the fast video and then the next day for um, the wrap up Q&A video. So bye for now.